And year after year, the Sun River Valley seems to be one of the hardest hit areas when it comes to spring flooding. I caught up with a landowner in this area and have more on his story and what it's like dealing with Mother Nature. Rich in both history and farmland, the Sun River Valley remains a vital part of the central Montana landscape. But year after year, this ground has found itself underwater. It gets very discouraging to try to fight this water all the time. Whether it be the communities along its banks or the farmers and landowners in its path, the frustration is evident. From a standpoint of a landowner, uh, we don't have control of the water. The government owns the water, but the government does not take responsibility. And when the floodwaters hit, along with it goes the topsoil. But it's not just the missing soil that becomes an issue. The Sun River flower. <laughs> this weed here is, is so hard to control. And of course, the minute you have a flood, boom, all that seed goes over wherever it goes and drops. So the question remains, who will win the battle, Mother Nature or the people calling the Sun River Valley home? I guess, you know, are we good stewards of the land or are we just going to let it uh, take us over? As long as there's uh, farm ground around this, as long as there's homes along this river, we have to control it to some point so that the erosion doesn't just take over and do whatever it wants to do. And Janetsky went on to say that one of the best ways to prevent riverbank erosion is by installing riprap. This creates a sturdy bank made up of granite and limestone rock and is much more likely to withstand the continuous flooding.